Now when people ask me how I feel about the railways, I often say to them that I'm a bit of an enthusiast. I like to encourage people to get out and use them because I think they're brilliant. I'm not one of these spotters. I don't have a book of numbers. I'm not looking for particular sets. I'm not really fussed on all the nerdy stuff like exploring lines that are rarely used and all that jazz. That is until today. I am making an exception today. And if you can't tell from my face, I am very, very excited about what we're about to do. It is coming up to, where are we? It's coming up to two o'clock and in about 15 minutes time, we're gonna get on a train. I mean, you'll know from the title of this video, we're gonna get on a train that goes on the Swansea District Line, the one a day service on Swansea District Line from here in Clenethley to Port Talbot Parkway. I'm so excited. this I've of course got to bring in some special guests so I'd like to introduce my dad everyone say hello to Andy hello 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 tickets at the ready and I'd also like to introduce my little brother Christopher he's here with me as well yeah nice Christopher I've also got Joe on the camera hello the background hi Joe give us a wave mate hey Joe how's it going going well yeah going good are you excited <laughs> I bet you're looking forward to this aren't you I'm quite excited to be fair yeah There is a really good reason I'm excited about this line. There's not a lot of places I get excited about. It's more the potential of this line. It's not the fact that it's a one a day service, although they, there's a little bit to do with that, but it's about the potential that this line has for the towns of Clenethley and any towns to the west of Swansea. Um, I've got my dad here as well. I'm sure he's, he's gonna talk about this later. We'll delve into it. Definitely, um, yeah. It was a whole remnant of network of lines that went throughout Swansea up to the Swansea Valley, the Neath Valley and uh, there's potential for it to serve the north of Swansea. It dives under near a very big hospital. It does. Uh, it goes through uh, several other, the home of the DVLA. And most of you have ever sent or received driving licenses. The DVLA has been touching distance of this railway line. So and, there's potential uh, for loads of different new stations at um, Morriston, Pen, Pentlegare, uh, a new station at Slans Hamlet to link up with the already existing line. But there's also potential to run fast from places like here and Kamarv and Tenby, etc. Uh, into Cardiff and on to Port Talbot. I, I, I'm really worried they're going to poop on me. All these seagulls. <laughs> I've had bad ben, experiences ben with these. Ben has in the past. with it. Yeah, no, absolutely. We won't absolutely. mention St Ives. Oh gosh, don't even get me started on St Ives. Going there in a few weeks, by the way, so make sure to tune in. Now, I'm realising in the edit that I haven't actually explained what the district line is. So here's some information for you. Built by the Great Western Railway in 1912 as a faster connection between London and the newly opened harbour at Fishguard, the Swansea District Line is technically the newest main line in Wales, with the most notable aspect being that it completely misses out Swansea. When it was first built, it wasn't brilliantly popular, as the villages around the line back then had little or no demand for it, with many of the stations closing within a couple of years of opening. It has rarely been used since. The line comes off the South Wales main line at Britain Ferry, crossing the Neath River over a spectacular swing bridge and heading north of Swansea through Flandarcy, under the main line at Llansamlet, and then through Morriston, Felindra, Pentlegair and Pontlu, before joining the Heart of Wales line at Llangenig and heading towards Slynethly. We'll hopefully be riding it in the other direction. The line looked destined for closure in 2013, having fallen into disrepair when the main line was redoubled at Gowerton. But in 2017, new plans came to reopen the line as the once tiny villages on the north stretch of Swansea began sprawling and demanding better public transport infrastructure. The plan centred around a new parkway station at Felindra, which was approved by the DFT in 2019, but unfortunately, since the pandemic, these plans are now up in the air. We believe the line is a must for reopening and have some serious suggestions on how to utilise it, but more on this later. The line currently serves as a route for freight trains, apart from the one-a-day passenger service which we are here to catch. So let's rejoin the action at Llanethly, where Joe was trying to be funny. Made a good joke. Have you? Or in yeah, the footage? Yeah, watch this. Okay. 
shoots a behind the scenes effect. Yeah. As you can see, it must get pretty icy around here. <laughs> I don't get it. Because <laughs> it, it's like loads of. <laughs> Like the grit boxes. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just an observation. <laughs> and as that train leaves heading towards wherever it is it's going. We were awaiting ours on this platform. An announcement has just gone off. The next stop is Port Talbot Park. Where we're not stopping at Swansea. We're not stopping at Gowerton. We're going straight along the district line to Port Talbot Parkway. Although I'm still a little bit nervous that we might not do it, I won't believe it until we're turning left at the junction to up towards Binia and Slangenich. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. The weather has become very Welsh all of a sudden as well. It has started <laughs> raining. Just this, this nervous wait now for this train to arrive. I'm so excited. Oh, the gates are going again. I think our train is about to arrive. Wait now to see if we actually turn left. Next stop, they haven't added Swansea yet, that's good. Now, I was trying to capture the moment of us either passing onto the district line or disappointingly continuing onto the main line, when at this point the guard came to check our tickets. So did we do it? Let's find out. Yeah, there we go. Are we moving? Are we on it? Are we on it? Show even you look excited. No one saw my fist pump then because I'm holding the main camera. Success! We made it! I have a video to upload on Sunday. This wasn't a waste of time. Praise the Lord! We're coming up to Binia Station. Thank you. 
As we disembarked from the train, we headed to the top of the platform to discuss what we believe should happen to the district line and the network as a whole in South West Wales, starting with Dad's brilliant suggestion for Port Talbot. I've never been so excited about just seeing an expanse of platform before me. But what you notice here is there's no infrastructure, there's no building, just there's some wonderful lampposts. And what you've got between here and Swansea are four local stations. And the thing is that those local stations only get an hourly service, if that. And sometimes sometimes two hourly or three hourly. Tagged onto a Manchester service or a Chester service. But actually, you've got room here to put a very long day platform which can accommodate a three or four car train. And that means you can shuffle into Port Albert and then call at each of the intermediate stations, which will, the names will appear on the bottom as we edit this. I might think of the names of them. Bag, you've got Bag and Britney Ferry. That's skewing. You've got Baglin, Britain Ferry, and then Neath, and then Skewen, Land Samlet, and Swansea. And those stations only get tagged on to the two or three hourly Manchester uh, edition or Chester, Chester and occasionally Cardiff Central. What that line needs is an every 20 or 30 minute shuttle. And it could bring Leaf Swansea just behind a fast train. It could stop all those intermediate stations and then pull in here. And then you jump on off here and then straight on to a uh, Great Western going into London or, or your Manchester Piccadilly train, which hasn't had to stop all those intermediate stations on the way. And on the reverse side, of course, you arrive in from your London, on your London train, or your Manchester train, and here waiting in the bay for you is your all stations, Magdalen, Britain Ferry, Neath, Skewen, Lansamlet, and Swansea. I think it's worth pointing out, especially if like, if you live in sort of Skewen or, or Baglan or somewhere like that, if you've got to jump in your car to then drive to Port Albert station to pick up the Cardiff Central train, by the time you've jumped in your car, what's the point? You're, you're on your basically way. already on the M4. But if there's sort of an every 20 minute shuttle from Port Talbot around to Swansea High Street, you can then link it up to get on a, an express train through to Cardiff and it makes more sense then. Then you've hit the nail on the head. The one of the biggest transport challenges in South Wales is we're predominantly a rural um, nation with a few larger towns and cities which serve as the main railheads. But actually, if you've got to drive 20 or 30 minutes to get to them, then it's always quicker on the motorway. Yes. So these small intermediate stations, you connect those within every 15, 20, 25 minute, 30 minute service. And then you've made real potential to get some of the traffic off the uh, motorway system. I think suddenly as well, you bring a bit of life to uh, to some of the smaller towns as well, with the with the possibility of commuting in. I mean, I know a lot of people yes, drive. You do. But um, that's one of the reasons that I, I, I get excited about the district line is the fact that towns like Tenby, Saundersfoot, with improved line speed on the district line, you've then got a direct service into Cardiff. Take Great Western, for example, they, they run 10 car trains up to Swansea. They'll divide at Swansea, send the front five onto Carmarthen. If you divide somewhere slightly different, somewhere a bit more adventurous, so let's say Cardiff Central, you send the front portion straight to Port Talbot, next stop. You miss out at Bridge End, but it's all right because there's a Bridge End service literally two minutes behind it in the form of the rear portion of the 10 car train. First stop, Port Talbot. Front bit goes along the district line, next station from Nethley, and then stations out towards Pembroke Dock. With the improved line speed, you're cutting the journey times into the capital for the people of West Wales by a good, I'd, I'd say, up to possibly up to 45 minutes. I'd agree, Ben. Um, that's options for the young people who live in in Flanethley or Tenby, like maybe they want to go to college in Cardiff, do an apprenticeship, do something a bit different. They don't want to get sucked into the holiday trade in these no. in these towns and not necessarily. It's good for a few years, sixth form and into college, but then no, 100%. If you want uh, a good career. You want to be able to commute. You want to be able to commute from Saundersfoot, Tenby, Pembroke Dock. What we need to do is start plotting. Uh, you know, and I urge politicians and network planners to do this. Look at the distance, say, between Brighton and London, and look mm. at the difference between Cardiff and Tenby and have mm. aspirations for places like Tenby to have uh, wealthy um, economies based on people being able to live in those places and access jobs in the cities because that's Absolutely. what's not happening at the moment. Absolutely. You know, Brighton's one of those towns that has succeeded because of its quick connections into London, even though the holiday trade is perhaps quietened down over the last few years. But if you do think what we're saying makes sense and you would like to support us, do feel free to send this video onto those perhaps in government or um, or have a transport company, send it on Twitter or whatever. Do share this video with your friends, colleagues, whoever. Uh, get the word out there. There is potential in these lines. We need investment. It could breathe life, give new opportunities to young people, 
across West Wales. Yeah. I, I feel we should close Ben by showing a few pictures of my walk this time yesterday on a Gower coastal path to prove it doesn't always rain. Oh, well, that's Wales. true as well. It's getting a but bit it's wet certainly though, is today. <laughs> should, should we go and get in cover? I think, I think we should. I think we should. Fantastic. <laughs> So we've just made a bit of a discovery, completely by accident. We're looking at what train to get back because we think we might go grab a coffee or something. Um, Dad, do you want to come in and explain what you've just discovered? I really do. Yeah, we've got a number of options for going back. Um, obviously, we don't want a Manchester one. We don't want a Swansea one. We've already got this 1511 Carmarthen, and that goes the standard route back into uh, Swansea. And I said, well, we'll go and go grab a coffee, something to eat. And uh, there's the Lenethley. Oh goodness me. Well, that would be great because that's where we're heading. And let's look what this Lenethley train does. It goes pile. <laughs> it goes on the Swansea district line. It goes back line. on the <laughs> district line. So, so it wasn't on the day. When I was looking at calling patterns, like the, I, the one back from Port Talbot is usually about 11 o'clock at night, hence. I wasn't even going to think of doing that one. And I confess, there used to be a Manchester one, and at about seven o'clock it got here, and it went, it skipped. Yeah, they did, well, they used to call them the boat trains. I know that the yes. TFW staff refer to them as boat trains. But I, I wasn't expecting that. That is, um... So maybe we should retitle this bit, we'll have a, maybe a, a new intro, which is like the occasionally one a day Swansea <laughs> District Light trains <laughs> in each direction. <laughs> We're just not Jeff Marshall, are no, we? No, no, we're not. We're really not. <laughs> we're walking down, uh, whatever this is, is it High Street? Yeah, Port Talbot, High Street. Um, Port Talbot High Street. Look how many pizza. Pizza Factory. Pizza Factory Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. It's Domino's. Domino's Bayer. Pizza Pizza. Pizza and then Costa there's Pizza Pizza as well. Pizza Pizza. <laughs> Well, cle clearly they like their pizza here. It's the bull kebab to pizza as well. That is crazy. I'm filming a uh, new series here, Baking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> you are Baking Bad. I don't think you I don't think he has. Better Call Saul is better. I've not seen that yet. You've got to watch that. You'll love that. You'll love that. You'll love that. No, no, I will. I will. Let us know in the comments which it's is another better. Another pizza place! Another pizza place! Pizza place. <laughs> look, look, Port, Port, Port Talbot's not the prettiest town in the world, but... I don't, I don't think this waiting shot does it any justice. I mean, look at this. I think it's quite nice for you. You got the nice hills. Um... <laughs> it's, it's not quite red in though, Joe, is it? Like... <laughs> That's probably another statistically recorded, and that's the station with the most seats that are never likely to be used. I oh, think that's good. Yeah. This one may win. That's true. So there's seats. a lot of empty seats. I mean, that, that waiting room as well. Is, I mean, and there's another waiting room down there. Do you think that waiting room never gets used upstairs? Not for its intended purposes. No. <laughs> 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 okay, we, we won't dwell on that anymore. Christopher, how did you feel about your experience on the district line? Mm, I mean, I tried to have a laugh, but it was a bit uncomfortable. A bit uncomfortable. <coughs> okay, okay. Right, fair enough. You're not quite as excited as, uh, oh, as we were. Oh. This may not make the video, but the, the excitement of it, Christopher, was when Ben and Joe were far younger than you are. And we lived in Cardiff. We drove down to West Wales for the first time for holiday in Tenby. Yeah, 100%. And as soon as we got to beyond Swansea, I thought, wow, we're getting towards West Wales, see the mountains. You see the uh, undergrowth changing, you see the estuary. And I saw this wonderful viaduct. So I thought, well, that must be the South Wales main line. That must be the line from Swansea to an Yeah. Never ever seen any trains on it. I realised why. It was a district, district line. line, of course. It's just south of Pontadillis, which is actually about four or five miles north of uh, Lenethy. The growth in Swansea is going to be that, that northern fringe. It is. That's where you've got the to and where stuff. the new estates come through. Um, you've got plenty of room for new stations. You've got stations at Morriston that you could you could put in. And then if you link that up with really good quality bus services at a cheap price as well, with tap and go, there's so much potential in West Wales. There are plans for a, a park and ride at Philindra, which would see a new company come in and 
I had to have a Carmarthen London service, which was Carmarthen for Lindra, and then for Talbot, and then Cardiff and into London. It's to make a tremendous impact. The, uh, the potential for running quicker, faster services means that everyone benefits. Yeah. You're not, uh, you know, Swansea won't lose out on services, other stations right. won't lose out. You actually use the infrastructure more wisely to provide better connections. And once you run a reliable railway with really good connections, buses and other trains, then you really start to build momentum. Um, the railway over the last few years has gone through a really bad patch, um, rebuilding services after Covid and everything has taken it, its time. And uh, reliability with flooding and everything else, uh, various engineering works, has been terrible. But you get that right and you start to create a network that people can uh, believe in. And you just turn up and go tap and tap in and out technology for buses and trains. Yeah. And you could really create a really integrated, sustainable South Wales uh, metro. Again, I ask if, if you are watching and you, you think that all of these plans are, are good and you see potential in the rails in West Wales, especially if you live in the likes of Morriston, uh, Penclaguer, all these places that could get new stations on the district line, I do urge you to share this video, um, share it with you know, the likes of Rob Stewart, Swansea Council Leader, share it with um, Ken Skates, the new uh, Miles Transport Government Minister. There you go, Ken Skates. I, I, don't, I don't even know them. Yeah, all Rishi Suna. I don't even know the main transport in the UK. It changes so often. Mark Carpenter. Is it Mark Carpenter? Yeah. No idea. There we go. But yeah, just share it with um, whoever you can. There is so much potential. Perhaps we'll put together a smaller, more adverted style video to share. We're about to get on our train to go back towards the Nethley. But all that's left to say is thank you for watching Ben Rooker uh, on my channel. I do really appreciate it. Thank you guys for your help. This is me shaking my hand, Kristen. Okay, no, never mind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I was hoping to like get a cap. Is it, you know, like, uh, it was inspired by football players to an extent. Um, to sort of give you a cab as my first appearance on the channel. Uh, unfortunately, the only one I could get hold of came in a free magazine, which isn't very good. Funny thing about that is I'm not even going to explain that joke to the viewers. They're just going to have to listen to that. But there we go. No, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time on my channel. Press like, hit subscribe. Drop a comment if you like, if you think this is a good idea. Take care, folks. Thank you.